Since I was born, I have always been around cats. The first cat to come into my life was Vivian. I think that when you look at your cat, you can see a bit of yourself staring back at you. Well, Vivian was my grandma's cat, and boy were they alike. When I was three, I realized that Vivian was not just my grandma's cat, she was my nanny. She would observe me from atop the piano as I play, sitting proudly as though she had taught me herself. Sometimes she'd even give me an unmistakable stern look if she thought I was getting into trouble. The next cats to come into my life were Fuzzbutt and Furball. Fuzzbutt was my cat and Furball was my mom's. They worked together as a team. Fuzzbutt was the doctor. He would sit with me or my siblings if we were sick or hurt, somehow knowing what was wrong. Furball was the nurse, always running off to tell mom we were into trouble again, and killing rats and mice. Now Furball and Fuzzbutt are gone, but I still have one of their kittens, Bobby. Bobby is mine and my grandma's cat. He is seven years old, smart and curious. One day, while I was on the computer, he sat staring at me. I couldn't understand why, until I left to get a drink, and when I came back, the silly boy was sitting there hitting the mouse and looking at the computer screen. I laughed, picked him up, and said, Curiosity killed the cat, Bobby, and you've just exited out what I was doing. Now Bobby is a, has a new friend, Boots, my mom and sister's cat. He is funny and calm. He's like a rose, sitting there spreading the love, accidentally scratching someone every once in a while. I think these boys and I will be great friends for a long time, and they will always be part of the family.